Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Daniel Araújo and today I will talk about how to become a Domino's Pizza driver, that will be my next job and in the end of my presentation uh, feel free to ask me any question, okay? I would like to start with this picture that the guy looked like so sad or confused. That's the, feel, the feeling that people have when they look for a new job or want to choose a new career, okay? Most of people when they look for a job, they look for a job that can give power, money and states. And sometimes they, they forgot, they forget that you have a lot of pressure. And if you try to choose simple jobs, they can give satisfaction without, pre without pressure. Okay? To explain about how to become a domino pizza driver, I will fall in the topics. How to apply for this job, car or motorbike, documentation, duties and skills, pros and cons, salary and conclusion. Okay? Basically, how to apply for this job. In my point of view, I have four ways to apply for this job. You can apply by internet, you can apply with your CV, live in the store. Other ways, you can go in the store, take an a application form, fill, fill up and give it back for the manager. In my point of view, I think the best way to do that is go in the store and take the application form. Because how Michael explained last week, for each job you have to apply, you have to change your CV. So it's better to the application because they have, they have got the right questions that they want to know about you. Okay? Car or motorbike is a two ways to be a pizza driver. Driving by car or driving motorbike in England is more is more common that people work by motorbike because the traffic is so badly and they can be more fast. In Scotland, most of pizzas they contract a, a pizza drivers, but for drive car because the weather is bad and the wind is so strong and sometimes you can fall in the motorbike and, and hurt yourself. Documentation. The documentation that you need to get a job is a passport, driver license, insurance number, MOT, insurance of your car and car certificate. Look like so easy, but not like that because when you have your driver license, if you have more, if you have more than six points, you are not allowed to to get the job because the insurance is not over. Because when you have insurance for a car, because in English everyone to drive has to make insurance first. So I, I make insurance for leisure, like just six thousand miles a year. When I go to work, I don't work with my insurance. The company insurance will go over if I have any accident. Duties and skills for being a pizza driver. The duties, basic duties for the pizza driver is deliver the pizza on time and help in the store prepare, prepare the box when you, are, when you have a free time. The skills that you need, like, I think nowadays all the profession they you have to know or have some knowledge in IT. And how can you see the first picture? We have a screen there that receive all the orders, orders, and have your name there. When the order is coming, you just press your name, press the order, and clock out. And you go straight away for your name and go for delivery. But the obligation of the driver before you clock out for delivery, you have to check if your, your order is correct, if all pizzas and sides. And after that, you clock and go. Other skills you have to be friendly and helpful. And if some new drivers come to work, you have to explain to them how to use the map as well, because everyone nowadays has a GPS, but some roads don't have GPS, so we have to take the new drivers and explain to them how to go for certain areas. Okay? Pros and cons about to be a pizza driver. In my point of view, the pros is a flexible time to work, no pressure, fair money, peace of mind, you are your own boss, exciting and good for socializing. 
when I was the expression, you are your own boss, of course I have my boss and everything. But the way to explain, like, I don't suffer any pressure because when they start so busy, like on Tuesdays, two for one, we have more than 400 orders. The staff that work inside the, the, the store, they get so stressed, nervous, a lot of pizzas, and they still get red. So they have to deal quickly about the situation. When I take the pizza and go to my car, I'm my boss. If I go fast, I do my order, if I go slow, I do less deliveries. But I take my time, I don't have pressure, I put my music and go deliver so, so happy. When you have a customer, you have like you. The basic for me, in my opinion, you have to get like a, a good manners to treat the customers because sometimes there is delay, the stress or not, but always be happy and say sorry and apologize or give another pizza and for the store. The cons, in my point of view, is the weather because many times it's raining or it's cold, the route customers and the damage to our car because sometimes I, dri I, dr I drive more than 100 miles a day. Salary is a minimum wage plus petrol plus tip. It depends on the area where you're working. Your salary can be between 12,000 pounds to 24,000 pounds if you work full time, like maybe 45 hours a week. But if you work in city center, you don't get salary so high because the students don't give tips. So you have a good area and people with more money, they tip it better. In conclusion, in my opinion, it's a great job because you can conciliate work with studies, keeping a high style of living with peace of mind. And that's what I do nowadays. Thanks so much. <laughs> Any questions, feel free to ask me now. Okay, any questions yeah. about? Yeah, a lot of what questions. Is, what is this, this baby doing there? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's happy, it's happy. So, um, is this a pizza driving job? Do you get like, a, if I am to become a pizza driver, okay. will I get a, like, is it a permanent job? Will I be given a permanent job or? What happens if I end up getting fined, maybe uh, as in the course of delivering, and then I get fined and my license is revoked? And so, will my employer take the responsibility, or will I? No, because the responsibility of drive is yours. Right. You have to drive safe, okay? And they always the boss said for you, like, uh, take your time, don't go fast, because for him, if you go fast, you take penalties or crash the car. Is let uh, is let uh, they lose points. Because every time in the, the store, like have drivers with accident or some like complain, the franchise they get all the complaints and the store lose points. Because every year you have two visits a year, and the people come and check your store, clean everything, and complains or good and bad things. Because if you forget five stars, you have to be everything's perfect. So if you get two stars, you can lose the, the franchise. So they have, they are so careful about that. In your case, about the points, if you take a point, it's your fault. But if you take more than six points, what's happening is the insurance of the company, if you have any accident, they don't cover you. So they don't allow, you are not allowed to drive. So the point goes to you, like if you, if yeah, in the cost of you, driving, if they revoke your license, you've lost your job. If yeah, you lost your, your job, you lose your, you lose your job. If you, oh. That is a bad one in job, if you do a gross misconduct, because you can break the law. That's a law, okay? If you go for high speed or do something wrong, it's just your, your fault. Uh, this job also one of my dream jobs. So uh, my question is, uh, if you uh, meet a um, customer, for example, they take your mail and they close the door, they didn't give you money. For example, they didn't pay it online. So this uh, situation was- Yeah, that happens sometimes, and what's happened like? Yeah. I don't say anything. I come back to the store. I spoke to my manager. They yeah. call for the customer back. If they don't pay, they call the police. All right. That's the. Um, the but you never fight with the customers because sometimes, yeah. like last week, they give me a fake notes. Okay, I was the customer. They never tipped me, and was <laughs> never tipped me. And it was twenty six <laughs> ninety nine, and he gave me forty pound, gave me three pounds back. But it was nice of him. That's money, not fake. But I not. I will not argue with him. I come to the store, I ask my brother, okay, the guy gave me three pound tip, but I think it's not, it's, it's a fake note. Yeah. And he check and offer them back, and he come and bring the money back. Many cases they call the police, the police go and check and so okay. it's happened. Another question, sorry. <laughs> uh, last question. So if you cannot um, 
make uh, uh, sorry, I, I means if the customer uh, won't accept the email, what we will do? For example, they 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 are in the the door, but they never open the door. Even you call them and uh, they open the door. the door and they open the door. The door. My oh. next step is call for them. Okay. When I call them and they don't answer, I call the store. I listen. They push me to don't answer. They say, okay, wait for a few minutes. I call for them. If okay. they don't answer, they come back. Come back for the store. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Is it, it compulsory to to have a car, or uh, sometimes the structure provides cars to to be? Uh, it depends. Like mm -hmm. in my store, like I have my own car. What they have, like the 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 insurance of them, they cover when I work. But all loses, like if you break down, and uh, they how is it the word? Uh, when you use our card, it's disgusting. Like they they don't get a fuck. Yeah, you have to pay everything. Like if you have like any problem with my car. But some stores, they give the car for you, for work. But when they give the car, you don't take money for petrol. So we work for them, just take hours or tips. In my case, like I take one pound for delivery. If I do 30 delivery, they give me 30 pounds just for petrol. But I spend 10 pounds petrol with my car. So I save 20 pounds plus tips. Plus your salary also. Yeah, for salary also. So you take money for for your petrol. Yeah. And then you, you receive a salary at the end. Yeah, because I have like six pounds thirty one, that minimum wage for hour. Then I work forty five hours, I have six pounds thirty per hour. When I do leave pizza, if I do like maybe I, I do make two hundred leaves a week. I, I have two hundred pounds for petrol. Maybe I spend like eight pounds for petrol, one hundred pounds is mine. Plus tips. The tips where I work is basically one for one. So if I do two hundred deliveries, I have two hundred pounds extra. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. See, simple simple jobs can give you satisfaction without pressure and you don't mind free, you know. <laughs> okay. Sorry, what else? I will. Find anybody who snatch your uh, pizza from you in between the ways and what can you do? Yeah. Uh, like it never happens to me, but sometimes. You are all advised, like if something happens, just give for them, come back for the police. Because sometimes teenagers come through there. I have like bad area, like Valentine, a uh, Polish guy was delivering pizza, the guys come with a knife, ask for pizza, they, they didn't give him the pizza for him, they come and catch him with a knife. So we, we do not deliver for this area anymore. Oh, sorry, I, I got another question. Okay. If you uh, got the um, big notes, what would we do? Take notes. Yeah. Uh, I come to the store, uh, give it to my manager, explain where I took, and he called the police. All right. Cool. Yeah. But uh, how do you know that you know if you deliver? That that's the problem because you sometimes don't know. But like, yeah. I know all the area now. Like I'm four years in the same place, so I know yeah. who give tips and who don't give tips. When the people come and give some money extra, like three, four pounds, you think maybe something is wrong, and I, I double check. All right. Okay. All right. So, I've got two questions for you. First is, do you like pizza? And the second is, <laughs> if yes, do you get special deals or do you get free pizza? Yeah, I like I like pizza, but sometimes if they make a mistake, they make a mistake all too. So busy, they like put on sauce or something like that. They have a spare pizza. I take all for free. If I want to go in order now, I have to pay half. Uh, I pay half price. But this is good. But like the deals that we have nowadays is half price for everyone. No, by one thing another free. So like. But anyways, to a uh, benefits. Okay. Well, my actual problem was that uh, because I know that will be what you actually answer the question because I was going to question you about how you react with junkies because in most occasion now uh, I see junkies ordering something like that and it will be dangerous for some area when you want to be. Yeah, it, so. when it's dangerous, they send me <laughs> because I'm being, you know, me or more to drive it because I don't know why. And <laughs> <laughs> But like, if they come in, sometimes the guys come, I'll give my pizza free, I just like, ignore them and go for work. If they come to do something for me, I, of course I can't fight or something like that, I just give it to them, but I have some special spray in my pocket. <laughs> can I go some certain areas, you know? Is that a legal spray? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, what I do like, but, You yeah. said you have a, yeah, a special I, I spray. Never, I never had any problem you know, about that. <laughs> because most of people is like, when they call, they have numbers and they can follow them. I have a, a, a friend that was working in Bishop Briggs, they put fire in the, his car. Okay. Put fire in his car. What they write? He said, come and put fire in it. Oh. 
Oh, really? But that was three years ago. <laughs> and who is responsible in that aspect? If anything, for instance, are you insured if you go out no, and you are attacked? It is the insurance of my, my company. The time I've been working, that I clock in and clock out, just middle time, everything is going from the... the, the they insure you, like assuming you go now, but... Yeah, God forbid, I, you are injured. I start getting the story and clocking clock my name, I insure by company. Guys, nice. we've heard about... Um, we've heard about microbiologists, we've heard about journalists, we've heard about lawyers, we've heard about teachers, and you're most interested yeah. in the dominant piece of the world. Because satisfaction is here. By far, you're more important. Um, right, please keep standing and keep up. Give it back. Okay, come on. Stan, I'd like to give you two sets of feedback. I'd like to give you feedback on your presentation, and I'd like to give you feedback on grammar pronunciation separately. I don't know, come on with the question. Yeah. Okay, is that you building that? Yeah, pick off now.